YouTube, what's going on? This your boy SB. Welcome to the SB Toys YouTube channel. We getting into it today. We're gonna be doing another showcase video. First things first, if you haven't already, if you're watching me on a desktop computer, make sure you click this icon on the lower right hand corner. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel or stay tuned to the end. I have a button you can click on as well and stay up to date other videos and be sure after this video check out some of my other videos on the channel if you're new to this channel we'll have other figures and you know act, well mostly action figures that i've done reviews on done showcases and i have my little blog series which i've only did two entries so i may do another one soon as well anyway i have here today the soda street fighter M. Bison figure and I believe this is from the round one series So this is uh, definitely I just got this figure So I definitely want to go ahead and showcase it to you because I'm very excited about just adding it to my collection Now I got this figure off eBay Doing a nice little and simple eBay search. I've got exactly what I was browsing around for I know I was looking at some of the Street Fighter figures and of course, for those of you who are familiar with the Street Fighter figures from the Soda line, it's now a discontinued line, so a lot of figures are now rare and hard to come by, especially this Bison figure. So, when I found it available, it was up to bid, and when I found it available and I placed my bid, and once I realized no one else got in on it, Basically, let me tell you this. What I paid for this figure is almost equivalent to walking into a Toys R Us or something, finding a Deadpool figure in the candy section marked at candy price. I'm not going to say no more, but that's basically how it felt as far as what I paid to get this figure here. And it includes the cape, which is a big, big plus. Got the man representing that Shadow Law in Bison, giving him the 360 spin for you. Now, basically, why I ended up getting him, I already have Street Fighter figures in my collection from the NECA line. Now, even though those were good figures, the only bad thing about that is they didn't do all the characters. So I felt some of my Street Fighter figures as far as the collecting, you know, in that nature, collecting Street Fighter figures kind of got cut short. So I looked to some alternatives. And of course, the closest thing that came to mind as a quality Street Fighter figure was the Soto, Soda brand. As mentioned, they're pretty expensive. So I've kind of got drawn away from due to, you know, budget and things like that. But, you know, being that I got this as a steal, I definitely had to get it. And of course, Bison is a definitely a popular character. So I definitely could not pass up on the opportunity to add him along to my Street Fighter action figure collection. Getting such a rare figure like this out of steel, there's really not too many complaints I can make about this. I'm definitely on the plus side, as you can see, I'm not sure if you noticed, I was able to change out his head. He does have an interchangeable head that came with him. Now, of course, if you get him originally in retail, he comes with also supposed to have interchangeable hands. I didn't get that. But like I said, getting a rare figure like this, there's not too much room to complain, especially when you're getting them at the price I got him for. So I'm, I'm happy with that. The fact that I was able to still get the head with him, that's even a huge plus. And there's a lot of things to like about this figure. I mean, number one, the bison, the sculpt right here is just magnificent. He definitely has that super larger than life, bulky build to him. Sort of what a lot of people have grown to the bison character as in later years, you know, very intimidating. He's got a nice look to him. Another plus side is to the fact that not only did I was able to get the extra head with the bison character, but I was able to get him with his cape. Known in the past, a lot of people trying to buy a bison figure secondhand, loose from someone who's previously owned him. Sometimes the cape will get lost or be torn. I was able to still get him with the cape, and I am 
definitely glad. It, like the cape here, it just gives him so much more extra life. I'm not sure if that's the worst to really describe it, but it just it, it makes the figure even much better with the loose cape. And of course, if you know, you've seen videos in the past I've done, I'm always a fan of using fabric material for the cape instead of trying to use some rubber moldy build. So the cape, it just falls freely, falls right against the figure. It looks nice and everything. And uh, the range of articulation on here is definitely amazing as well. So much options as far as trying to set them up to pose and, and stuff. Kind of spinning around again. I took the cape off. Let you see him without the cape. Definitely still looks great. I mean, this is an amazing figure. I really wish back in the day I was a little more on my job as far as with the action figure collecting. I definitely would have hopped in on a lot of these Soda Street Fighter figures. And now trying to get in on them, you better make sure you have a nice budget because you're paying a pretty penny for a lot of the characters from that soda line. I have not really seen one go pretty cheap. So, sadly, if you're trying to get in on Street Fighter collecting, like I said, save your money up. With that being said, also be sure you like this video and share it with your friends, folks who may have the Bison character as well or some of the other Street Fighter figures from the line. You know, just let them see the figure. See if maybe... We all feel the same way. I'm definitely impressed with it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click this button right here. You can stay up to date with videos that I post. I do figure reviews, showcase videos like I'm doing right now. A few other things. Do my vlog as well. And I might have some other things in the works. So just stay tuned for that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're on social media, my other form that I'm mostly active on, you can follow me on Instagram at SB Toys and connect with me there. So anyway, I hope this showcase video, y'all enjoyed it. All you Street Fighter fans out there, hope you enjoyed the video. Got Bison here. And also, uh, if I didn't mention, as you can see, I have the alternate head displayed as well at the bottom here, which is the one I'm mostly going to be using. The grand face one, it's pretty cool, but I like the more serious face one. So I'll probably be displaying him with that head, mostly. But anyway, y'all enjoyed the video. Also, make sure you check out my other videos if you haven't already at the end of this video. Anyway, that's your boy SB. I'm out. Y'all be easy. There's a lot behind why I got this toy. Number one. Growing up as a little kid, like many of you before, you're familiar with classic arcade games and classic game systems like Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and of course you're familiar with classic fighting games like the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. So, I was already a fan of the Street Fighter franchise. And Chan Li character is definitely one of the popular characters aside from Ryu and Ken. That's usually your top three popular Street Fighter characters, Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li.